Hi everyone, today I am going to paint again with casein. So I'm using my Fredericks Plein Air paint board that I saved from uh, one of my Art Snacks Plus boxes and it's for mixed media and it has a nature core which is a base of vegetables and recycled components. The texture is very smooth and I thought it would work well for gouache or casein and I had saved it especially to paint something with casein. It's very light and um, I think it's just cardboard inside and everything's archival, but there is no edge. I usually like to use the wooden frame to hold onto my canvas when I paint sometimes, especially when I do the first layer. This one doesn't have any, so I'm not even sure how to hang it on the wall. I think you just really have to frame it. And also because it's a soft component, the frame is uh, soft. I think it's a little bit more fragile and you can see that one side of my canvas was a little roughed up and the glue on one of the edges didn't glue the canvas itself onto the frame. So it kind of looks flimsy a bit to me, but it's very pleasant to paint on. I went through a file of reference photos that I uh, saved from Pixabay and I found this great photo that I really like, and I thought it would be fun to try to work on this shiny glass. So I, I added all the highlights first, and then I worked on the darker areas. And I used a set of Jack Richardson travel paintbrush that James Gurney recommends. He uses that a lot when he does his plein air gouache paintings. So I wanted to try, and I was hesitant because the handles are pretty short, but I thought it worked really well and it was very comfortable to hold. My hands aren't very big to start with, so it was just fine. I didn't mind at all. There's a nice variety of flats and rounds, so I was able to find the sizes and shapes that I needed for this painting just fine. I used a small flat for my first layer, and I must say I, ha I had to wait for quite a while before I was able to continue my painting after I did my first layer because I had to work on different projects and I was very busy, but I was finally able to uh, continue working on it. And I noticed a big difference because the paint had had plenty of time to dry. So the layers were very dry and did not move when I added more paint on top of it. So that's the biggest difference between casein and gouache. Gouache would have been reactivated very easily, but with casein, the longer it dries, the more water resistant it gets. So I thoroughly enjoyed adding that new layer of paint. It was uh, really more like adding um, another layer of acrylic paint. At some point I used a Japanese ruler that has a groove in it and it comes with with a little tool it's you can use a pen uh, instead of this little tool but you basically hold it next to your brush and one of the ends of it you put in the groove so that you can actually draw a straight line it's very practical i really like that so I'd like to take the opportunity of showing you this casein painting to shamelessly promote my Skillshare class uh, that I published a little while ago. It's all about casein, its origins, its properties, how to use it, and it also has a step-by-step -step painting that you can uh, follow along with. It's really for all levels, and I think beginners as well as advanced artists would definitely enjoy it if I may say so myself. <laughs> so if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description of this video, as well as an offer. If you've never been on Skillshare, you'll be able to click on that link and get a uh, free two month subscription. So that's a pretty good deal right there. Even if you don't want to take my class, you can always look around and see what else you're, you're interested in. And you can follow all those classes for free for two months. So check it out. Hopefully my class will help you learn a little bit more about casein. And if you want to try to follow along with me uh, with a step-by-step -step painting and you do not have casein, you can always use gouache. It's very, very similar. And gouache is readily available pretty much everywhere. I'm only using a black and a white, so you don't need to have a whole set. I hope you guys enjoyed this little painting. I had a great time painting it. It was a bit challenging because of all the highlights and all the shiny surfaces, but it was definitely a great exercise. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.